guys welcome back to the channel so i'm going to be talking about how to choose a dissertation topic this will be a really good time to grab a notebook and a pen because this is going to be a whole lot for you to take in so get a pen and a paper so you can jot things down and you can take it away all right <laughs> um so this is a much requested video a lot of people have asked that i do this and that's why i'm doing it by the way if you're not following my community page on instagram this would be a really good time to do that so check out at the cp community on instagram and connect with my community of international students and you can connect with me on instagram at the Chidera peters so we can you know keep talking and take the conversation off youtube so one more thing i have created a dissertation topic planner to help you streamline this whole process and make it easy for you to navigate and gather all your thoughts together click the link in the description box to download your copy okay click the link right now in the description box and download your copy it's really going to help you with the whole process of choosing a dissertation topic all right all right all right <laughs> let's get started guys hey there if you're addressing me for the first time hi i'm chidera and it's so nice to connect with you so basically i'm an international student or i was an international student here in the uk and i share my experiences just to help other students like me get it right okay um if you don't know i submitted my dissertation and i also got like a distinction in my masters so obviously i did something right and that's why i feel like i can actually share best practices for choosing your dissertation topic and not just that that even my undergraduate dissertation topic was was actually really good to the extent that it was published in an international journal so i know what i'm talking about so just sit down get your notebook like i said one thing about studying for a master's here in the uk especially for one year masters is that before you know it next thing your lecturers are already asking for dissertation topic and you're like how like it's not just yesterday i started this course why are you guys already asking me for a dissertation topic it's just barely two months into this course why are you people stressing me but that's how it is because you just have a year everything needs to start as soon as possible okay so don't don't feel like you're the only one basically almost every international student in the uk doing a one-year master's feels the same pressure at some point like not being ready and then you know your lecturer has already demanded that you send topics or that you start working on your dissertation proposal hopefully the things i'll share on this video would also help you kick start your dissertation proposal the very first thing when it comes to choosing a dissertation topic is to understand research process and terminologies okay so do you understand how the research process works for your department do you understand how like a, a, a research is broken down do you understand you have to think about methods for data collection do you understand you might have to run analysis what um, statistical packages do they use in your department what statistics <laughs> what statistical packages would you have to run analysis on your data so you need to really understand the research process research terminology <laughs> research terminologies like literature review and all of that so you need to you know have that at the back of your mind understand how the research process works that's just preamble so the very first thing when it comes to choosing a dissertation topic is to ask yourself what is your interest see the course you're on right now something intrigued you about that course that made you apply for it so think about it hmm, this course you're on what is the thing that interests you about the course start thinking about it and the reason why it's important to focus on something that interests you about your course is that a research is something you're going to be devoting hours and hours of your time so if it's something you're not interested in trust me you will struggle to write it so you need to ensure that you are interested in that topic for me for example i studied crisis and disaster management when i started thinking about it i was like wait i picked this course for a reason and the reason i picked it is because i grew up in northern nigeria katina state precisely and have been affected by several crises insurgency and insecurity in the region so i told myself hmm i think i'm interested in insecurity aspects of crisis and disaster management like how to handle insecurity better how to handle terrorism better and all of that so with that i started you know brainstorming and started thinking of it so you need to start thinking about it what is that particular thing in your course or on your course that interests you that piques your interest that makes you excited why did you choose to study that course think about that okay the second thing to consider is to identify your area of interest and look at available literature okay so for example for me i knew that what i was now interested in was you know terrorism insecurity then i started looking at literatures about it like finding other articles other things people have done about terrorism and um, insurgency in northern nigeria and I, and I started seeing works like how to manage it better how to do this how to do that you know i started downloading different documents i did not read all of them there were some that i just can't through to pick you know the main points they were trying to pass across but that was what i did so 
see at that time i do not know the specific thing i want to talk about you get so i don't want to pressure you like you must not know the specific thing just having a, a broad idea would help i just knew it was something around insurgency something around that so i started looking for articles what i did literally i just went on google scholar i put terrorism i put nigeria and Google Scholar will give you results of articles that are relevant to those keywords. So every article that came up on that Google Scholar had something to do with terrorism and Nigeria. So all I was doing, I was just, you know, looking at the ones I could see the topic were interesting. And by so doing, I was realizing, mm, 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 you know, it's like opening my mind. I'm like, okay, 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 okay. So you might want to do that also. Look at concepts that you find interesting on that, that's your area of interest. Okay. Another important thing to do when choosing a dissertation topic is to review um dissertation of past students in your department so for example in my department we were giving something called the book of abstracts which contains all the abstracts of the students of the previous year so we're all giving this manual and we just went through it and you know you can look at what students have done before hmm, this student did this it looks interesting look at the topic and even by so doing you can begin to realize certain themes that are common among students in your department okay if you don't have access to a book of abstract or something like that email your lecturers and ask them that is there a way you can access previous um, dissertations from other students this should be something that should be open access for, to you as a student okay another important way to pick a dissertation topic is to look at your lecturers research areas like what are their areas of interest in terms of research what publications have they released in journals what is their area of research the reason why this is important is that you don't want to pick a research topic that nobody like no lecturer in your department has an interest in or is knowledgeable about the reason is that if you do this you're going to struggle because you're going to be alone on your whole literature review process because it's not their area of interest they really cannot help you so you might want to look at oh what what are your lecturers doing what are the articles they have look at the articles look at the topics and see who can you align with or, or whose research area you know fits into what you're interested in and another thing why it's important to talk to your lecturers is that even though they know about a particular research field they can also know of trends that are coming up in your area of interest so for example when i was looking for my dissertation topic i spoke to a lecturer of mine i who was always involved in humanitarian response in third world countries like she always traveled to like Sierra Leone, Cameroon, like that. So I started talking to her. I'm like, okay, I'm interested in something that has to do with terrorism, you know, in Africa, in Nigeria precisely. And she started giving me different concepts of, okay, they've done this study in Sierra Leone. You might want to check if they've done it in Nigeria. They've done this in Cameroon. You might want to check if they've done this in Nigeria. So you get, so by talking to your lecturers, you get to, like they give you a broader scope of things you can look into, all right? So when you've done all of this, it's very important that you niche down okay all this information all this broad interest everything bring it down to your context like i'll say localize it and it's also okay for you to replicate a work that has already been done so for example maybe someone has done a study study on rick's perception in italy you can replicate the study but localize it so you can now become rick's perceptions in nigeria okay so it's okay to replicate as long as that work is original that work has not been done in that particular locale so for example we in terms of replicating work that has already been done my initial research topic was supposed to be on humanitarian actors and how um, terrorism affects them what i realized when i was doing all my studies you know reading literature and everything i noticed that all the studies or most of the studies were focusing on how terrorism affects people on the receiving end okay so the people that are directly affected by terrorism this was what all of these like previous work was looking at but then i'm like hmm, why is nobody looking at the effort of humanitarian agencies like all these humanitarian agencies that are sending people risking their lives to go there to help people to provide relief why is nobody looking at how this terrorism impacts them and also impacts how they are able to give out services okay so this was my angle do you understand this was now where i was like mm, i think i'm onto something unfortunately i had to change my my initial topic because um the covid19 pandemic happened and my data collection process was no longer feasible so when i now had to bring up another um dissertation topic the topic i wanted to look at was something around covid19 because obviously that's what was trending then and I'm, I'm studying crisis and disaster management so i'm like hmm i started looking at literature things that people were talking about and then i noticed that there was this um one that caught my interest that's why i said you need to find a concept you like 
under your broad area of interest. My broad area of interest was COVID-19, but I found a concept I like, which was Rick's perception, Rick's communications, how are people communicating this thing, communicating COVID-19 to people, okay? So different studies that were studying people's Rick's perception in different areas, Italy, America. And I'm like, hmm, has anybody done Rick's perception in Nigeria? And then I started bringing it down. So you need to niche, you need to bring whatever broad area you're looking at, bring it down to something that is more real to you if that makes sense apart from that when i decided to do covid 19 weeks perceptions in nigeria i started looking for literature right if anybody has done this and then i noticed people had done it however from reading their works i realized they did a broad age range okay so they did ages um 18 to 75 and i'm like that is such a huge demographic okay so i'm like you know what i'm going to repeat this same research but i'm going to streamline my own demographic i'm doing it to young people so ages 18 to 30 that's my i want to see if there will be differences between my own research and the one that was already conducted so these are the points for justification that you have to consider when you're trying to maybe replicate a research or you're trying to find your your own specific angle to a research one point of justification is are there variations in socioeconomic conditions so for example maybe someone did a study in italy and i want to do it in nigeria obviously there are social economic variations because the standard of living in italy is not the same standard of living in nigeria do you understand another point for justification is are there differences in the age group from the one i mentioned the age group that the already existing study had was so big and mine was more specific so that's a justification okay another justification is are there differences in belief system like what you're studying and what has already been done is there a difference in the belief system of the study that you're looking at the study you want to conduct like is that a significant difference cultural differences socioeconomic variations you need to consider all of that as justification for wanting to replicate or find your angle to an already already existing research I feel like I've been talking a whole lot and I don't know if you're keeping up with me but before we go on click the link below um, I'm going to create a dissertation topic planner just to help you streamline the whole process and you know bring it all together under one umbrella I'm going to create that so click the link in the description box below to download yours and start brainstorming on your dissertation topic as soon as possible okay so moving right along another very very important thing to consider as you're picking your dissertation topic you need to think about your research questions a lot of people just pick a dissertation topic and they're like yeah i found i found what i want to do no you need to consider what do you want that research to answer because that would help you know if that research is relevant or not and the research questions is what will not inform the aim and objectives of your research so you need to first understand what do i want to find out with this research what do i want to know what is the knowledge gap what is the gap that is missing what where am i trying to fit in my research into in this broad field okay so here are some questions to help you discover your research questions number one what has been done in this field so what have people done on this topic what have what have previous research done what second thing to help you identify your research question is what methods have worked and have not worked so as you're reading literature what methods do people use for data collection did the method work can you see any mistake in the method do you think you can replicate that same research and use a different method to make it more efficient so you need to look at this okay another way to identify your research questions is what have others found so what were the results of previous research okay what 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 were the results what did they find out what what, what was the outcome of that study this will help inform your research question so maybe if this study found out that everybody in nigeria is scared of covid19 then you're like based on this result one of my questions one of my research questions is are people ages 18 to 30 really scared of COVID-19? This is just a very raw example, but you get it, right? So another thing to help you um, determine your research question is what is missing from the literature? Okay, so you've read so many things. You're like, hmm, what is missing? What has not been done? What What is that thing? Where is that angle that people have not really looked at? Where is that thing? So it takes a lot of brainstorming and mind mapping, all right? By the time you've done all of these things, you would have begin to have ideas of topics or what you might want 
want to talk about even if it's broad don't don't stress one thing i must mention here is that the process of picking a dissertation topic is not straightforward don't think that you're going to do everything jidera has said and you land on your topic Mbao. it's is a process that requires a lot of back and forth okay so you might go back and forth a lot of times with your lecturer you might encounter some problems and you have to reevaluate your research topic like it requires a lot of back and forth that's why it's really important that you start thinking about your dissertation topic as soon as possible okay just know that have that back of your mind don't stress when you have to keep writing drafts upon drafts upon drafts i tell you how many drafts i wrote before i finally came on my first initial research topic you, you won't want to believe it like the next thing i'll talk about is once you've picked your topic you need to evaluate that topic you need to evaluate if the topic you've chosen is good enough i'm going to be telling you points that you can use to evaluate if your research topic is good enough the first point is originality how original is your is your research has this research been done before if it has been done before what is your angle to this research so originality is very important the second point to evaluate your research topic is relevance how important is this research like what is the point of your research what is the point of studying this topic how is it going to benefit anybody who are the beneficiaries of this study is it the people is it a an organization that is going to be the beneficiary is it your university like who are the beneficiaries of your study what is the relevance of studying that topic okay another point is literature base is there enough literature for you to build your research on this is very important the last thing you want to do is pick a topic where you don't have enough literature and then you start struggling to build up the chapter two of your your research which is a literature review you start struggling because you don't have enough sources so you need to really think about it is there enough literature base for this topic you've chosen another point to consider is access to data collection and data collection methods have you thought about your methodology for this topic how would you collect data and if you found a way to collect data will you be able to collect that data is it accessible to you one of the reasons why i had to change my initial research topic when covid 19 happened was because my data collection method could no longer work my data collection method involved me doing one-on-one -on -one interviews with humanitarian actors people that were working in the humanitarian field with covid 19 i was unable to meet people face to face because face to face interactions was cancelled so i had to say oh wow my methodology is not going to work anymore so i have to look for something else or look for a different methodology and after looking at different methodologies i realized no other method will suit my research topic if not one-on-one -on -one interaction so i had to cancel it and look for another um, dissertation topic so you really need to consider that another point to evaluate your research topic is analysis okay analysis how will you analyze the data do you need to learn a software do you need to learn a statistical package if there's a statistical package you need to learn do you have access to it does your university have it you need to think about all these things even as you're picking and deciding your dissertation topic okay last point to evaluate your topic is personal gain see as a master student sometimes the research you do can open up a whole lot of doors for you for example in my department there was a student who did a work um with the fire service okay and after she do did her research she sent a copy of that research to fire service and then they gave her a job because she actually studied something that has been an issue to them they gave her a job baby girl is, ex is employed now okay so you need to think about personal gain especially if you'll be going into academia like if you want to do phd and the rest and become a lecturer and all of that you need to think about what you're doing with your masters because it's going to inform the direction of your academic career at the same time even if you're not going into academics it can also help you get a good job offer so you need to think about the personal gain of your dissertation topic Whew, that's a lot okay i hope you took down notes and once again don't forget to download your dissertation topic planner on the link in the description box i have carefully created a, a resource that is going to help you you know streamline all of these things under one umbrella okay so click the link in the description box to download yours now all right i hope you found this helpful please if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up give it a thumbs up share it to other students and drop a comment and also if you have suggestions for videos you would like to see also drop a comment because trust me i read my comments and i'll make the video that you want to see till next time guys bye